time around. Ooh, look, at, look at his creepy little face down there. It was you. It was you all along. Ugh. Go back to furry con. I was about to say, oh, ooh, that scared the shit out of me. I was about to say, what if I just walk off this cliff? What? What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Uh, okay. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. Yeah, you're floating. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Okay. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method, thanks to my awesomeness. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Okay. Now is the perfect time to use it. She has fast travel? Zom. Oh my god. Z. What's convenient? EV. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what I just did. See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Yeah. yeah like my what? Do my life we have a new solution key? I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's get Okay, I'm not sure what's causing that issue. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly are gonna expose the truth together. Okay, what proves the call for play dead? All right. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Okay. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. No, I'm good. Well, maybe later. We opened the plague dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. Okay. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I need to. Okay. I can't wait to see that. Oh, the ground. It's falling apart. Why? What? Wasn't this the right route? You, I would keep running. Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. All right. Well, yeah. Just keep running. Time to jump. Oh, yes, she had to break my neck. Oh, was it Yuma? Oh. I would say yes. When I saw Zilch through the window. He was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. Yeah. That was definitely the real Zilch. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, was the burnt corpse in the car one actually zilch? Uh, I would say no. Okay. The I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zulch's corpse. In other words, Zulch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Okay. Was it, uh, what's his faces? Before? It, I mean, it has to be before, right? was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Okay. Silch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. Okay, the here goes where the dang and rompaisms were just like, how? How? Tell me. How, Sway? places with a corpse he had hit what okay next up you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden okay because the room was filled with smoke he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Okay. Spot selection. Here. Yeah, under the bed. That's it. The bird corpse was hidden right there. Ooh. Uh, yeah, what are these things? Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. I know, right? We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it! He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body? Yeah. I'm so jealous! What? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. Okay. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Oh, okay. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? Probably under the bed. In some place with easy access, which must mean under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Okay. See, this is why you always check under the bed, ladies and gentlemen. The bed. Which means if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Yep. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you in. Hmm. Yeah. I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. Yeah, to, and you are the most sus since you have, like, no memory. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary. So he must have planned to move him before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans. So he went with it. 
Okay. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Oh yeah, yeah it was. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. Yeah, of course you won't answer. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. Yeah. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... It was Apex's. Of course. Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Okay. I will not. Okay. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, master. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to. There's no corpse to replace anyway. All right, there we go. Oh my God. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. Yeah. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. Because there was a stab wound in it. The village are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? Yo, this, this music is like dang and romp as fuck. Oh, is that it? <laughs> he looks completely obliterated. Now we don't have to fight anymore. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, shape up. Gotta get the fuck out of this mystery dungeon. Wow. Who would have thought that short tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. Oh, okay. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for. So I could identify him. Yeah, imagine getting burnt in your sleep. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? Well, I mean, it totally went green. Not burning them alive, though. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Yeah, sure, I guess. Mm. If you want to look at it that way. But I'm pretty sure burning cor corpses is not good for the environment. Ooh. Zilch? Wait, I am not the culprit. Okay. I am a victim who was already killed. Oh, so this is Sir, like. Leave me alone! Sir. Hey, he ran away! After him, Master. Get this furry. Kill him. Yeah. You said uh, the body in the first uh, person uh, infirmary uh, wasn't uh. me. But Apex? 
But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How is the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? Oh, uh, if he surprised us, when did that happen? Uh, when there was like a... Uh... Yeah, when did that happen? I'm trying to think. All right, yo, Shini. Okay, not saying I don't like the view, but we're at a crossroads. Where did he run off to? Okay, where did he run off to? Another mystery that needs to be solved. When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit moved through the train or did not move through the train. I want to, I'm inclined to say did not. Because I want to say. The, be if he'd gone outside the train instead of through it, he could have passed us. No, that's impossible. 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 All right, chill. Impossible. Impossible, 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 impossible. Oh, and now we have a furry on our hands. Ah, Who tried to dress up like that? Into a mystery phantom. Get him, master. Boom, kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left. Okay. Oh, he's huge, blackout and shaking. And yeah, I think. The train. Did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. Ooh. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. Nope, you're wrong. The shaking and bumping. The bumping and grinding. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happens when I was in car two and car four. Mm hmm. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. It has to do with the direction that, like, each, the, the direction that the train is going. Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Distorter played the backup control system. Forget the shaking system. and the blackout. Okay. It's possible some kind of malfunction caused the main control to fail. All right, we're going to keep it on this run. By coincidences, the blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. It was just a bad contact. 
All right, there we go. The backup system reported reports any issues or whatever. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. Mm -hmm. hey, you ran away. A fleeing phantom is a phantom. Yo, this is actually a lot longer than expected. Okay, I will. I mean, uh, hey. then you have to pull me along. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse is moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. Okay. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case, like I'm actually just dead ass trying to figure this out. Ah! Yeah, ma'am. Oh well, she protected me. I knew it. A mystery is blocking you. Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. Okay. Uh, the main control system was lost so this is the question when car right? one was. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard, too. The main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Okay. Oh, yeah. Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel. Okay, yes. That was caused by the main control system failing. Okay. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so... The blackout happened. Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? I, uh, I don't get it. Okay. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. Yes, this is something we know. That to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Okay. Oh, another one of these. Yeah, I don't even, like, I'm just fucking guessing because I don't even know what the fuck it wants me to say. It was detached. Why is it detracted? Detached. Okay. Fuck off.
Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I... The reason why the main control system failed was because... The first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Okay. Let's keep going for now. Yeah. Like that. This, okay, sure. Whatever. Um, Master, I don't really get it. Yeah. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. Okay. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Yeah. Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. But oh, how? What does that have to do with anything? There it is again. It's bigger than ever. Mm. How much longer will this keep happening? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Now is not the time to be suffocating. Again. The body was transported along with the entire car. Yeah, it has to be that. Like, sometimes it's just easy because it's just like three letter word. It has to be contextually. All right, we got you, bitch. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Nonsense. Oh, he evol he's evolving. Alright, fan of Smosh, I see. The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car. How do you move it all the way to the rear? Yeah. Uh, um, That's what I want to know. Don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Okay. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. So right the shaking was the reattachment? Time, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here he comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. You're it because they're all wrong from the very beginning. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's see what we got to do to solve this. This looks like his final form, though. Red herring route map. I so it shook twice near the tunnel. 
Okay, I think it might be this. So what happened is before the tunnel is split. Okay, I think. Okay, all right. You mean the train car was separated, reconnected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Yep, there we go. I, that I, it was the route map that I didn't remember taking a look at. Of like it, like as before it hits the tunnel, there's like a separation. That time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel so by taking advantage of the double tracks it's possible to switch out the train cars Okay. The first time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separate. Which is like very like convenient because like they had to like the train would have to literally reattach before I make it to the end. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Mm, okay. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up. Yeah. No, that's crazy. All right, you have more rebuttals. Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. What? Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Okay, I'm like actually like very confused on what's happening. To start Amaterasu. I guess six. Or was it four? Oh, oh yes, because they, they're like the fifth one wouldn't open, and that's because or the uh, the last door wouldn't open. There was never five.
but didn't they say it was a five car? Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? Yeah. That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken. Mm. Then why would they say, so but the, the map showed. Broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Okay. If the real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if there was another car one, then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one. The burnt. Piece For of example, thing. the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? Yeah. So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? Okay. I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. All right. They wanted me to use it to break the window. More dank and rompisms were just like, if everything lines up perfectly, then this is the perf most perfect crime ever. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Zilch. <laughs> All right. Finally, fuck me, bro. This is a long ass uh little thing, a little segment. That was a pretty solid deduction. <laughs> Very impressive. A me for seeing your potential. It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. Okay, don't get too high of yourself. No you still gotta catch him. Right. Sometimes his voice is way too loud. I don't know why. And I'm not even sure if this is being picked up on recording because it's it normalizes itself. Everything feels different here. Yeah. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh, okay, of course. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say? She, the she says way? something's interesting going to happen. I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? 
Yeah, you don't want to answer me? What is this? Looks like a fort to me. Okay. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. Oh, God. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm yeah. not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's roadkill time! She keeps saying that. Will the guy get boom killed if I do this? Like in the real in uh in this world? Of course, more obstacles. Oh, oh, God. What the hell is happening? I am so confused. God is Shinigami. Shinigami's tutorial on Carter. Oh, okay. So as soon as I see the Switching the first and fifth parts just your imagination. Alright, you can't do Yeah, there is. Yo, check, check. Come on, hurry up at the side. Use the solution key to smash through the wall, Master. You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Okay. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from car five. Yeah. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Yeah. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Mm-hmm. Yep, get the shit out of my face. Ooh, kick that. Ooh, that was close. Boop. Boop. Yep, just head first. I'm coming for that ass. Coming for that ass. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. Vink. I'm so close. Yo, she's so happy. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. There's everything backing it up. No hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Okay. Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, master. Wait, hold on. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember 
It's okay. my blood. Oh. Oh, because you, oh, you cut yourself on the glass when, when you tried, tried to, open. to get into the infirmary in car one. Yeah. I cut my finger on the glass. They could they should have made that a little bit more obvious because I thought he when burnt I himself. The latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Huh? Yeah, get get fucking out. Of, get get the fuck out of here, boy. Go to jail or die. I like I don't know. I don't even know where this nigga's at. Still hiding underneath the 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 train. <laughs> The, the the bed I'm not done yet Yes, sir you are. Supposedly hiding in the infirmary go. Okay. You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. All right, yeah, let's see what he. The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car, or probably someplace safe. Then I literally hold on. Here. Then we litter. Okay, I'm mad because literally was like, "Hey, yo, this motherfucker's hiding in here." The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while Car One was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. Mm. They hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. Yep. That's how they got. No, it's not me. I'm not. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. It is you. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. Left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all of your evidence into the solution Ew. and slash as hard as you can. Okay, I'll shove it all in there. Shove it in there. Deduction denouement. Oh, okay. Oh, this is. Yo, this is just. Dang you guys wanted more Dangan Romp, but here goes here goes Dangan Romp, but minus the despair, which I'm actually. Okay, what uh, was used to put the detective to sleep? It was the coffee, right? All right. Uh, when, uh, what happened when car one was detached? Oh, under the bed. This was the first time around, not like the last time around. Ooh, <laughs> look at his creepy little face down there. All right, who did it? It's time. Zilch did it. Right? I am ready. Mystery unraveled. Step right up. Step right up. Hey, this better be a banger. This better be a certified hood classic. Truth 
bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction game of uh, 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 The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai War. Oh, not at all. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. Ooh, I like the br little breakdown, okay? Oh, because you were fast asleep in the lost and found, Master. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. Mmm. So I was in the fourth one. And so the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. Oh, so what I am confused about is, so... Okay, so if the car, okay, so the fifth car was at the end. So I got in, oh, how did, okay. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Look at him salt baying that shit in there. ill but it was actually the drug all right relax and also the music is way too loud compared to the voices the culprit sent me off to car one in order to find me the killer i'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick master but you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Mm. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Setting all those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! Yeah. Well, I mean, they probably didn't all fall the asleep there. Their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Hmm. Somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse, and here I thought chivalry was dead. <laughs> what a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. A Where do you get the burned glasses from? Pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While they were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and tied me. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing. Yeah. Himself in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest. You thought he was dead. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. And then uh, this time he was doing this. What if I would have saw like just a figure just move around? That was when the culprit took out Apex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. Like a magic trick. Uh, a of smoke. 
Yeah, is there a way to like go into settings or something? Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Unlock the room and run inside. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. Mm hmm After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. I was to why they picked the time-consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out to car one after seeing the corpse. Okay, and then I went to cart two. The culprit was under the bed at that time. So what? So they probably left to eat from there, but never did it fold like they planned. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Mm -hmm. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. Yeah. All within the timing that it would take for us to exit and then get back into the tunnel. Like, does he have like a flamethrower or something? How is he able to burn something with such intensity at like a focused area? So what I didn't understand was, cart one was the fr was in the front. I thought cart one was in the back because I thought we entered in from cart one, or like, or we did enter in from cart one. We just worked our way. The orientation was just confusing to me. Of like, where was cart one located? Was it in the front, going uh, assumedly to the direction, or in the back? facing the opposite direction so cart one car one was always headed towards the destination and then w the switch around happened so the switch around ha so as we were going through so okay cart one was heading towards the direction as okay so here let me So we were in the, okay, cart one was going this way no, towards the direction, towards can I. We were going toward cart two with the opposite direction going down. And then what happened is as we got in the tunnel, cart one detached. And by the time it reconnected, it got to the end, which is the ending point where we ended up at. Okay. That's what I needed. Cause I was like, how the fuck did that work? Cause I always assumed that. Like, no matter, cart one would always be behind us, but it was in front of us. It went from behind us to in front of us. 
in terms of like where we're going in, in terms of like our investigation but as a, as opposed to how the train is structured how the train is structured the number one car was was the first car that's headed towards the destination and then it goes two three four five or just two three and four and then like okay all right i think i figured it out the train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars when it came out of the tunnel the car with the culprit in it attached to car four now behind car four that car became car five the SWAT was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient! The culprit, riding in car 1, attached it to the back of car 4. Mm -hmm. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Okay. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. Figured there'd been some kind of brawl. that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Losing a dead body? Oh, this is a despairingly brilliant idea! When the train arrived in Conway, it connected to a different, prearranged car one. Mm-hmm. And then car one was already prepared to look like, uh, like cart one because they broke up, which is not Danganronpa, uh, what I like to call Danganronpaism, where they, things literally had to match up perfectly in order for it to work. Yeah, they were lying, all right. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amateur Rassi was in on it! That really turns me on! Yo, she, she feels like a true... She, she feels like one of those true crime girls that take it too far. That's just like, yo... I want to. I want to be in there. I want to be. In, I want to be murdered by Ted Bundy. I want to be. I mean, this is me off, right? During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one, and waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death tried to bring me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. Yeah. The evil dealer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Silch Alexander! It was you! It was you all along. Ugh. Go back to Furry Con, you weirdo. Motherfucker, Doctor Strange his ass. Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. Okay. The soul of the true culprit. 
culprit. Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Okay. Here we go. It's my time to shine. All right, what's she going to do? Ooh, is this executions? That's for all deplorables. Ooh, okay. This is the most anime shit I've seen in a minute. I'm not the one who did it. We will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Huh? Ooh, okay. Huh? Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Yeah, what's about to happen? Shinigami, are you listening? Get him! Wait, I know who the culprit is. He, oh, he's sweating. He knows. He knows he's. It's Zilch. He's still alive. He frames me. And y'all are in on it too. So don't even. What are you talking about? Look at him. He's look at all. Already dead. Baffled. Huh? But. Shut up. This is not up for discussion. Take him away. Shinigami, where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You're so cute when you panic, so why hit to enjoy the view first? Man, I hate you. I seriously hate her. Stop playing around. Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <sighs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away. What? He's dead. Oh. Looks like it's over. What? Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's she killed him? A price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as okay. a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source perishes? I mean, for all the bo he killed, he killed like four people, bro. Like, nah, he needed to get out of here. <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right, the true culprit dies. But like, how does that absolve me of anything? That actually makes it worse. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. You're now innocent and free to go, Master. What are you talking about? There's nothing happy about this. Silch died because I solved the mystery. Forget all that. He di he can't corroborate anything because he's fucking dead. Uh, he was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I don't know about deserving to die, but like, yeah, he kind of. If that's the options that we have. tell you to that gilded idiot over there okay okay swank did you just receive a report that zilch was dead how did you know that i thought so if he 
He was alive until moments ago. That changes things about this case. Yeah. Right, stupid. So died in front of our my eyes. He was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. Oh, yeah, gaslighting. That you works. You frame an innocent person. Did you? What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? Yeah, very much so. Think I you can do that. You forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. That does it. You're under arrest. No. Listen. You got no right to remain silent. And what? You got no right to call a lawyer either. Oh wow, this is fucked. Take him away. Are you kidding me, oh, sir? Wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Liz, cool guy. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. Ooh. <laughs> what? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. I see what he's doing so, there. You know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Yeah, just leave it alone. Let's go. Okay, these guys are going to be a problem. Let me go, bitch. Bitch one and bitch two. They're very short. Are these children? Oh. <sighs> Thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Okay, who are you? Thanks. It must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? Yeah. I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako Fu Furio. Furio. Alright, look at this cool guy. I'm sus of everybody, so I'm sus of you off the jump. Khan I Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. Okay. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, and the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. Yeah, one would assume so. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. Yeah. He finally. He turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Uh. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. Okay. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Uh. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, well, then stop talking to me did, then. They just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I like to hear the details about this incident. Okay. Right. 
All right, can we save sometime soon? I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Yeah, that sucks. Communicate even if thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. Yeah. Well, I got a mind palace. That I helps me scared, out. To be honest, I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. Mm, yeah, one would assume so because they want to cover up everything. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight, kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. How am I supposed to know what their eyes look like? They're wearing those I'm weird masks. Corp. Doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. Oh no! Let me guess. This is going to be a, a case. Hitman. They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The results of which is this Amaterasu Express massacre. Mm -hmm. So Silch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He oh, okay. was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh, okay. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Uh, okay. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Oh, okay. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives. Oh, okay. I'd even consider that one. Okay. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. Mm. They would go to such lengths? So then that means there would be like six bodies on there then. So then that would be weird. Like, where did the sixth body come from? Absolutely. And also, why is he not Even burnt the up? Didn't work. We still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. Damn. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Oh, sure. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. Yeah, who is that other person then? Who is the, the Hi, fake? Fuchi. Heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Oh, I'll explain that later. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. All right, please give me uh, a save point. Yo, the filter extra heavy. It's raining. Hey, you're right. I mean, the cityscape looks dope. Ooh. Yo, what's happening here? Oh, who the hell is that? Who's that guy? It's me. Okay, there's just this weird cloaked person. Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. Chapter zero done. Jesus. That was like five, almost five hours long. I see, I see. Are you going to 
you'll remember all of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. Deduction S. Judgment S. Stamina C. S. Oh, I got an S. Alright. Rank 7.